turn around but somehow still face me A sweet girl, a uh, uh, was tasty For the cash she dashed like Stacy Says she wanna move from there On some little job, all she knew was yeah What's going on, it's your boy Rome 300 We're back again on He Smells Like Rome Thank you guys for joining me again I really appreciate all you guys For you newcomers If you like this video, if you enjoy the content Please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that bell icon so you can get some fresh new content when I drop a new video twice a month sometimes three times a month if I feel like doing it with that said I wanted to show y'all if y'all haven't seen already your boy officially is on the map got my own t-shirt made got my logo on front Rome 300 and my brand he smells like Rome on the back yes I'm hyped. I'm really, really excited about this. I have, you know, you gotta, if you, if you wanna, you know, be serious about doing something, you gotta make a brand for yourself. And this is what I'm doing. Officially make a, a brand. I'm doing hats, I'm gonna do some t-shirts. Um, first for myself and, you know, a few friends of mine. If you do want, you know, a t-shirt or something, let me know, hit me up. I can probably put something together. Um, but that's another story for another day. I'm just hyped that I got the t-shirt made. Um, so that's that we are here really pretty much to talk about the exclusive fragrance from Julian Maud and that fragrance is if I'm saying it right Teres Saint Germain this is one of the fragrances that popped off when Madalena and Julian first started their line back in 2012 um, this fragrance was actually created in 2012 with two other fragrances, um, Stilettos on Lex and also my favorite fragrance in my entire collection still, which is uh, uh, Amor Di Palazzo. So if you aren't familiar, that whole trilogy was based on them uh, and their love story and how they met and you know how they found love and each, you know, how they got married and all that. Uh, but this one for me, um, from what I've read and what I've uh, talked about, and also I had discussions with Madeline and Julian, this one here uh, basically invoked this whole love at first sight. This cubic arrow shooting them both, their eyes met, they instantly was attracted to each other and history was made because they fell in love and eventually got married. So that's the, uh, I guess the story that created this fragrance and how it was supposed to be uh, presented to the public so you guys got an understanding of what they wanted to invoke and what the message they wanted to send when they created this me i'll talk about it but i just i mean you saw in the presentation of what the fragrance looked like but this fragrance comes in two different packaging so if you see right here let me put it down so you can see it complete. That one right there, it comes in this leather pouch or coffin, however you want to say it. Very nice stitched leather. And the bottle sits there. Also has a travel atomizer in here. And I'm telling you, that travel atomizer, that thing is so convenient. You're not gonna travel if you're just going out, you know, around the town or you know, doing some business or something. You're not gonna travel with the bottle. So it's much more convenient. After five, six hours, you wanna, you know, refresh yourself, spray yourself up. You got the seven mil travel spray in there. So I thought that was pretty cool. This fragrance, I have the older version. They did revamp the bottle, so the bottle looks a lot uh, more uh, luxury style to it. I'll put a picture up there so you can see. It has like a silver background to it, but it's really, really cool. You know, uh, this fragrance goes for 200, that's somewhere between 250 to 260 dollars for this version. The new one is, I think, 300 dollars. And then you have the bottle that's just a bottle in um, simple packaging that's around 170. So if you don't want to pay for the presentation with the bottle, most people do. You can get it from that. Um, the perfume behind this fragrance is the same person that, that made Monte Palazzo, and that is um, Dorothy Poet. Excuse me, 
I'm drawing a blank there, Dorothy Porter. She has a catalog of just great fragrances that she makes niche and in the houses, but she's uh, a beautiful, beautiful, talented perfumer. And of course, you know, she made my favorite fragrance. She gotta be dope. Um, so let's get back into this one. So let me put the box down. Second. All right. So this fragrance, when I first got it um, last year, what happened, I was looking for something for the summer, the spring and summer. I really don't have too many, um, I can't say I don't have, I have a pretty decent amount now, but before, uh, you know, citrus, aquatic, fresh fragrances really didn't excite me. So I, I kind of stayed away from them because they don't have um, the best reputation for lasting long. So when I got a chance to smell this, I knew this one was gonna be and kind of good given the fact that Julemont's uh, track record on long-lasting fragrances. So I tried it out. Immediately, one of the notes just you know took me by surprise, and I was I, I was excited. I was like, yeah, I'm 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 lit for this one. Rhubarb. Rhubarb to me smells like Twizzler. I don't know why, but it does. It has this this jamminess and this slight sweetness. And that's what I got when I first opened this fragrance was rhubarb mixed with a sour grapefruit and a refreshing uh, tangerine uh, type of citrus. Those are the three things I got when I first um, smelled this. And quickly, I wasn't really impressed, but I was pleasantly surprised because it wasn't something that blew my mind but it was like this is what I've been looking for you know something that had a little bit of a sweetness to it that jamminess with that rhubarb and something that had a citrus that you know I can wear in the spring and the summer that I really can enjoy so that's exactly what I got when I first sprayed this get a little bit during the middle of the fragrance I was once again pleasantly surprised wasn't blown away but once again pleasantly surprised because it has this uh, sandalwood and it's patchouli that sits down and gives it a little bit of weight that says you can wear it in the cooler part of the spring when it's just transitioning from winter into the spring this would work well now this is an extract perfume or extray however you want to say it so it does last long but it doesn't project very far I'm gonna tell you right now this thing probably gives you a half an arm maybe about 12 inches, that's about it, but it lasts long. It, it, it's not beast mode or anything like that, but it lasts roughly seven hours constantly, but I tend to get around between five, six hours because I spray it on my skin. Now, I learned a little trick in my first journey that once you spray stuff on your clothes and your skin and then you kind of layer with some you know, unscented lotion, that'll throw at least two, three hours on it. So. If I do that, I'm getting 10 hours out of this fragrance easily. But like I said, the Travel Atomizer gives you the opportunity to, if you feel like it's dying down on you, spray yourself up. Now, I was questioning myself, I said, is this spring or is this a summer fragrance? Spring or summer? I tend to think that this is more of a spring fragrance because it's a little bit heavier on the dry down. In the beginning, it is fresh with the, the tangerine and with the grapefruit, but Towards the dry down, you get more uh, woody and floral with the rhubarb still the main and dominant note in this, but I think that the patchouli and the woody notes plus this floral aspect of the rose kind of uh, keeps it on the heavier side more towards the dry down. That's just my opinion. You guys check it out for yourself and you let me know. Times to wear this, I said this is definitely, like I said, daytime afternoon spring early summer it's, it's a great date fragrance if you're going out to lunch or if you maybe going out to dinner it's for me this could be a signature scent that's how good it is because it's it's refreshing complex and simple at the same time it's complex because uh, not many fragrance houses can pull off rhubarb 
and actually have it last the entire uh, distance of the fragrance. And I think it's simple because it's easy to wear. This is not a fragrance that's going to turn people off. I definitely think anybody that has, you know, that loves citrus fragrances, that enjoys something that has a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of uh, woodiness, you will definitely enjoy this. Another fun fact, uh, this actually got second place in the Fifi Awards in 2012, 13, I'm not actually sure. Uh, but, you know, that actually says something. If it's good enough to get second place in a prestigious uh, uh, fragrance award where thousands and thousands of fragrances are uh, submitted, it has, it has to be good. Come on now. Um, age bracket, anybody, I don't, I don't go there. You guys know me. I, I say, wear what you want, have fun with it, spray it, try it out. Where I got this fragrance from was Mid New York. Unfortunately, they don't sell it anymore, which is a shame. The, the place, I'll put the, the link down below where you can actually get it. You can go to uh, juliemod.com. Uh, um, I'll put that down there. And I think it's a place called uh, uh, Indie Perfumes where you can get this fragrance now also. Guys, I'm telling you, you gotta try this one out. Don't sleep on it. Don't take my word for it if you don't think it's good. Get a sample and try it out. I guarantee you guys will definitely, definitely like this because once again, this fragrance is unique, but very, very simple at the same time. And perfect for the spring. All right, guys, that is my review for today's Saint Germain. And hope you guys enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. Um, Oh, before let me let me do the yeah. yeah well, I'm slipping, y'all. All right, man, come on, man. Yeah, yeah, come on, man. I'm slipping. All right, so let's do, let's let's do spray so you guys can see what the spray is like. All right. Nice spritzy spray. You see the oil on my hand. Like I said, it's a straight perfume. And like I said, that first blast, oh, crazy. Another thing, I'm gonna put the notes up so you guys can see the note breakdown for the fragrance. All right guys, I saw the note breakdown. Now you get an idea of what I'm talking about when you see it comes from being fresh citrusy with a, a tinge of sweetness from the rhubarb kind of reminiscent of a Twizzler, if you have even smelled or tasted a Twizzler. Then you got this middle notes with the, the, the patchouli, the earthiness, with a little floral, and then it dries down into this really nice, creamy, woody uh, uh, dry down with still uh, hints of the rhubarb. Guys, it's an excellent fragrance, in my opinion, guys. I definitely want you guys to check this one out. And also, if you have Leave a comment below. Let me know what else fragrances you guys tried out from Julie Mod. Y'all already know this is my favorite house on the planet right now, besides uh, BTV. So check it out if you haven't. If you have, like I said, leave a comment below. That's it for your boy. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I really enjoy doing this for you guys. You know I always do. Y'all my peoples. Uh, hopefully, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna give a lucky subscriber because I really want you guys to try this. I'm gonna give a lucky subscriber a two mil sample of this fragrance. Just, if you live in America, let me know. Put a comment down below. Let me know if you've tried it. Let me know if you wanna try it. Let me know if you even have it. And I'll pick a subscriber. You gotta be a subscriber. You already know you ain't getting shit if you don't subscribe to my channel. And I'll send you guys out a sample. Matter of fact, I'll, I'll, I'll send two, all right? That's pretty much it. Guys, I'll check you guys out on the next video. Thank you, thank you for joining me. And like I always say, it's okay if you want to smell like rum. I'll check you guys out on the next review. Peace.